This is all your fault, old piece. If you hadn't blown up the base with that grenade, Aragos wouldn't be making us clean it all up. Oh, shut up, Buzzer. This isn't all my fault. Slug's the one who found the stupid thing. Hey, don't go blaming this all on me, you hairy ape. Buzzer's the one who came up with the idea of throwing it in the first place. Yeah, I agree with Slug. This isn't our fault. It's yours, Buzzer. Oh, can it? At least I don't have to wear a flea collar. Yeah, well, at least I don't look like the baby of a chicken and a crocodile. Calm down, ladies. You're both equally as pretty. Slug, I swear I'm gonna come over there and peck a hole in your methane pack. I told you I heard an explosion. Shut up, Felix. Do you want them to hear us? Whoa, sorry. Who took a crap in your Rice Krispies this morning? Listen, either you shut up and let me listen into their conversation, or I'll throw you into their base and yell free food. Ha! Huh, nice try, Carson, but even I know the Covenant don't eat humans. Trust me, when I throw you into their base covered in ice cream syrup and a nice cherry on top, they'll make an exception. <sighs> Fine, I'll shut up. Just tell me what they're saying. Well, right now they're talking about how they can use a nice human ice cream sundae. Ha ha, very funny, Carson. Griffin, get your butt out here right now. What is it, Mr. Dale? Shut up, Griffin, and listen up. I came out here to take my daily joyride in the Jeep, only to find that it's missing. My Tartarus, the base is haunted. I knew it all along. Oh, con it, Griffin. The base isn't haunted. Carson and Felix are missing as well. Oh, no, it got them, too. We gotta get out of here before it kills us. Griffin, shut up. The base isn't freaking haunted. Carson and Felix stole the Jeep, and I need to find out where they went. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Now, I need an honest answer and not a dumb one, as hard as that may sound for you. But do you have any idea where they went? Hmm, let me think. Carson did say something to me yesterday about having to go and take a huge... No, no, no. That's not what I meant. I meant where would they have gone with the Jeep, you idiot? Oh, well then I have no idea. Ugh. Oh, never mind. We'll go out and check for ourselves. Come on. Wait, we don't have any more vehicles. That's why we're going to walk, you imbecile. Oh, you're so smart, Mr. Dale. I'm not smart. You're just a complete and utter idiot. And while we're on that subject, if we do happen to run into some covenant along the way, do me a favor and scream, hit me, hit me, while flailing your arms around. That way they won't attack us. Got it, Mr. Dale. I won't let you down.